Nanette Macy Jones joined the Columbus Museum of Art in 1984 and has served as the executive director for the past 20 years. Under her leadership, the museum has received significant acclaim for both its original exhibitions and innovative engagement strategies. Nanette's leadership has transformed the museum into a 21st century institution, both physically and philosophically, making the museum a place where all people feel welcome. Seeing more people welcomed in, more people who feel that the museum is their home, that for me has been extraordinarily meaningful. Um, you know, I was there long enough to watch people not to grow up, uh, their kids grow up uh, at the museum to, to go from being, you know, just married to, uh, you know, retiring. I, I mean, I really watched people in a life, um, you know, have a life at the museum and feel that the museum was integral to their, to their lives. It was important to their lives in many stages. Among her most significant accomplishments are the nationally recognized renovation and expansion of the museum's home at 480 East Broad, including the Margaret M. Walter Wing and a new Center for Creativity. Nanette has spearheaded many initiatives and major exhibitions, including the acclaimed exhibition, I Too Sing America, the Harlem Renaissance at 100, which brought together organizations across the city. What does the community need from us? I think another part of it was um, uh, create, embracing creativity. I, I truly believe that the museum is a place for all of us. It's a place where we can really get in touch with our creativity. Creativity is so important. Critical thinking, being able, artists are great problem solvers. We don't think about that, but you think about a blank canvas, um, and then you've got to create something. Art is our problem solvers in that sense that we can learn that from them. And there's so many incredible challenges in the 21st century. And we all need that creativity to solve those challenges. We're going to make it to the 22nd century. We're going to need all of us to be as creative as possible in the 21st century. And I think the Art Museum really plays an incredibly important role in that. Art After Stonewall, 1969 to 1989, is recognized as a groundbreaking view into an important era of LGBTQIA history. But perhaps her most lasting legacy is the decades-long relationship she built with Columbus artist Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson, who, upon her death in 2015, entrusted her estate and legacy to the museum. I think more than anything, it speaks volumes that um, Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson, when she passed away, she bequeathed her entire estate to the Columbus Museum of Art. That says a lot. What does that say about a person when another person, an artist that grew up in the projects of Columbus, Ohio, came through the city, felt welcomed at the museum from a very early age, ended up on the walls of that museum, and then decided, because of relationships, especially with Nanette Macy Jones, that she would give her entire estate to the museum in trust. I think that says it all. Under Nanette's direction, this gift resulted in the renovation of Amina's home and studio and the establishment of local and national Amina Robinson residency programs for African-American artists. Described by many as the heart, the force, and the soul of the museum, Nanette Macy Jones has served the museum and her community passionately. Her efforts leave a legacy that will continue to grow for years to come. So I'm incredibly honored to get the Michael B. Coleman Award. And I, like everything in life, it takes a village. It ta I'm just grateful for all the people who have made the museum what it is. And uh, at the heart of that is the, the staff of the museum. Uh, and the big museum family, and my own family, which um, was constantly letting me do all the things for the museum that I needed to do. So I am extremely grateful to all of you. Thank you.